Hey guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about how to use signed global IDs to associate polymorphic records in your Rails forms. So let's take a look at what we're gonna be building. So we have this little select box for a ticket and you can assign the ticket to a user or a team and you could add any other model in here that you might want, like a group or something else. Um, but these are using global IDs that are signed in order to associate this um, through our models. So let's dig into actually building this. What we're gonna need is we're going to need a new Rails app here um, and we're gonna call this polymorphic select. And once that has done generating, we will we'll create three models. We're gonna create a user model, a team model, and a ticket that can be assigned to those. So let's um, create those here in just a second. So inside of our Rails app that we just created, we can generate a scaffold. We're gonna create a user table with a name column. We're also going to generate a scaffold for the team model with a name as well. Um, and we're gonna use that name field as what is displayed in the select box. So you can see Chris and Colin, Go Rails, Shopify. Um, those are all the name fields. But if you had a model that didn't have a name and you wanted to delegate that to some other column or some other string, you can define a method on your model called name and that will work as well. It just needs to return a string that you want displayed to your users. Um, so once we have those two models, we can generate a scaffold for our ticket model. And our ticket um, can have the assigned to, which will be a belongs to or references, and this will be a polymorphic relationship. 